Hey guys, this is Sam, and today I want to do a relatively quick speed test between two of the newest phones out there, two that are highly compared across the board. Over here we have the Samsung Galaxy S8, which was technically just released today, and then here on the right we have the iPhone 7, which was released all the way back in September, a little bit older of a device, but I want to kick off this test by doing a geek bench score to compare physically which one of these devices is better. Not usability, not what they'll do day to day, just physically what's inside which one of these phones will perform better when you're doing intensive tasks it's going to take just a second to run through this and i want to go ahead and skip through the rest of this test all the way until the end because it's basically as interesting as watching grass grow but once we're done with this, it's a little bit more interesting now that we see our results. As far as the single core score goes, Galaxy S8 disappoints a lot. The Apple iPhone 7 destroyed it at 3545 compared to the Galaxy S8's 1847. So iPhone 7 taking the W there, but the tides turn and the tables flip. We go down to the multi-core score. Galaxy S8 coming in hot at number one at 6313 iPhone 7, no slouch, but definitely about 300 something behind at 5,969. So the Galaxy S8, based on specs alone, will perform better than the iPhone 7 when you're playing an intensive game or, well, I don't know, running something like a Geekbench test to compare specs alone. However, that's not the only thing that matters in a speed test, so I wanted to do a quick usability test between the two devices. I have the exact same apps installed almost in the same locations on both of the devices, on the Galaxy S8 once again on the left, the iPhone 7 on the right, but I wanted to do it one by one individually so that I don't have to tap them at the same time, then get confused and then throw off the results. I feel like this is more accurate. I'm just syncing the times up from the first time I tapped the Galaxy S8's Twitter icon to when I tapped it on my iPhone 7. You can see as the test progresses, you're gonna notice a very, very slight trend. Now, depending on what apps you're using, I went with apps that are pretty common. I'm not doing only games that are incredibly intensive because I feel like that's not realistic. I mean, people are going to use Twitter. People are going to go on YouTube. People might play Clash Royale, which is like my favorite iOS game ever. So I thought this would be more realistic than just super intensive games that are gonna take a while to load and show kind of an extreme difference between the phones. Now, as the test keeps on keeping on, you will notice that just ever so slightly, the iPhone paces ahead. This is not my own bias. I mean, it's gonna be plus or minus three or four seconds just for me missing taps or misclicking, but plus or minus three, four, five seconds, the iPhone 7 is just slightly faster than the Galaxy S8 when it comes to launching these specific applications. I restarted the phones before this. I cleared out all the applications. Um, there's no bias in the video. Like I went through and uh, tapped them as quickly as I could. But like a five to 10 second difference between the Galaxy S8 and the iPhone 7 really isn't something that will have a great effect on your life throughout the day. So is the iPhone 7 faster? Yeah, I mean, in this case scenario it is, but if you're looking at raw specs, the Galaxy S8 will win every single time. If you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to drop a like down below, and of course, subscribe if you're interested to see and watch more on the Galaxy S8 and the iPhone 7. I've been Sam, hope you're doing well, and I'll talk to you later.